Hello everybody, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of MacWarrior Online. Today I am playing the Mauler, the Mauler MX-19 and I'm having a mixed build between ballistic weapons, missile weapons and energy weapons. So let's get over to the Mac Lab and then I show you what the build is all about. So when I first took a look at this Mac, I saw that it had amazing ballistic quirks and I was like, wow, you can really do AC-10 builds with it because it has a good range bonus of 15%, a velocity bonus plus 15% makes it so that the bullet travels faster and you have an easy aim and it doesn't generate that much heat. And therefore I took two AC-10 with four tons of ammo. Also, I took a standard engine 300 to fit all this into it, but that makes the Mac very slow, only 54 kph. And so I chose two LRM-10 as support weapons. So this is a Mac that will probably fall behind, but to be significant in the first stages of the game, you can just take some small LRM weapons as support weapons and fire some missiles over the heads of your enemy while you are advancing and you are in position. So this is a thing I like to do on slower assault Macs. Just slab on an LRM or two and uh, you are fine and can deal some damage early on, remove some armor and when you are in the fight the enemy is uh, stripped a bit. So I've got two medium lasers, one in each arm just to have something to shoot UAVs or amplify the damage when I'm in a tough situation. But keep in mind this is not a big alpha strike brawling build. This build deals damage over time because the AC-10 it has a uh, um, not the big damage number, you can deal 20 damage from about 500 meters over and over again and you should do that, also firing your missiles while doing so. Um, yeah, I've got uh, 3 tons of LRM ammo, I have to say that here. In my first game I had only 2 tons and had max armor on the arms, but I kind of feel like I need more. And I stripped the arms a bit to 36 uh, armor points and I think that is just enough. So if you lose an arm it's not a big deal because you only lose a medium laser. Uh, the rest is filled with heat sinks. Uh, I've got four of them. That's quite enough. Have a heat management of 1.43, three, uh, three, four, and uh, that's again quite enough. For the modules, I went for radar deprivation, of course. I've got the AC 10 range and cooldown, because again, these are considered the main weapons. And if I had that one unlocked, I probably go for target retention, or what is it called? Uh, target decay, that one here, to uh, have longer locks on the missiles. The consumables are a UAV to shoot my missiles when I need some uh, vision on the enemy, then I can pop that UAV and a cool shot when I get in tough and hot situations. Also, I've got that very sexy Marek camo here. That is so good. Anyway, that is the build. I hope you will enjoy the two games and if you do, of course, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you want more. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first round in our Mauler MX-90. We are playing the Mining Collective, we are playing Skirmish. We are in a very slow assault mag. As you can see, 54 kph is like shit. So uh, I mainly use the LRM-10s as my uh, first support weapon. So when I'm uh, not on the front line, I can fire those and still deal a bit of damage. I always like to have some some support weapons uh, in very slow assault mags. So having some LRMs uh, just to be significant in the first phase of the game is really huge. And um, two LRM-10s are quite enough for that. Uh, also, uh, I screwed up my ammo because I <laughs> I wanted to have uh, three tons of ammo for, uh, for each weapon. So for the AC-10, three tons and three tons for the LRM-10. But let's see how this will go down. Uh, yeah, I guess I changed it in the next game. So, uh, what are we going to do? We going we are going to stick to the team as much as possible. So I am very slow and I really need to keep up. So just standing in one position and just shooting the enemy while my team is moving is not a good idea. Therefore, I, I have to <clears throat> be very careful and watch uh, my team where it is going and stuff. So gonna keep up with them. And uh, I don't want to go there, not really. Trebuchet, mm, that's okay. So I could have fired my LRMs, but again, I want to keep up with them here. And therefore, I'm doing it. It seems that there are enemies around. I have some LRMs. That was a solid hit to the legs, okay. So the AC-10 have a 400, uh, not 400, 560 meters range here. 
That is really good. Uh, are we pushing? I guess so. I really need to watch that position though. The hunchback over there is not scary. He is being distracted. So I don't care him on my uh, on my flank. Uh, that dude over there. Okay, got some shots in on him. Yeah, as you can see, the velocity is pretty good here. So uh, I don't have any issues with aiming at the moment. And it seems that we're pushing around. Okay, let's push the center. Maybe from both sides. That would be huge. Can we do it? No? Yes? No? Okay, going to pop a UAV. Oh, we already have one, so no need for that. Okay, we are pushing the center right now. Come on, dudes. Follow up, push through. Let's be aggressive. Don't get back. To the front line. This is how we do it. Yeah. AC-10. And we already got a big advantage. That's good. It's really good. New good. Keep it going. Stay aggressive. Target. Destroy them all. New Down they go. Yeah. Switch heat vision. Just to target the enemies. And there we go. Nice, this is how I like it. New so, stop the heat vision again. I need to see who's on the front. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I guess I just uh, got out some friendly fire. And one more. There we go. Yeah, that was a nice stomp. Played it very aggressively and it totally worked out. So, uh, when you push the enemy as a team, just roll over them. Don't stop at the ramp, don't back up. Just go in and use a brutal force to take him down really quick. And this is what we did here and this is what worked. And I'm very happy about that. Also, I, I can fire my LRMs while advancing. Got another kill. Casual AC-20. And there we go. That was a pretty escalated round. I'm very curious of the damage score. And um, yeah, it worked out fine. I like that. Also, uh, maybe I'm not switching the ammo because I only have 26 shells left. So uh, yeah, 523 damage, uh, quite solid. Uh, three killing blows, six assists and five components destroyed. That was the first round and we are getting over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alright, second game, we are playing Polar Highlands and Domination, I like the map and the game mode, uh, not the map uh, alone, but the map and the game mode combination is quite okay, I would say. So we are having quite a very short time to uh, to the battle, so we are just meeting in the middle of the map and uh, things escalate from there. This is good, uh, and since this is an open map, I can make use of my LRMs a lot, and uh, as you might see, I, I have... Um, upped the ammo a bit on the LRM-10, but without the cost of the AC-10 ammo. I think these are the main weapons and they should stay at 80 rounds, uh, but I shaved some of the armor from the arms, because there are only medium lasers in there and I can spare them. And um, then I put another ton of LRM ammo into the head, so um, this is the second run here, and I think this will be better. So let's see what's going on here. So what do we have? Uh, let's see, Niger, Niger, Hunchback, Commando, uh, some other stuff. Timberwolf, I see. Shadowcat. It looks decent. Mm, it looks that we don't have the tankiest team, but we have a lot of long range or mid range potential. Uh, let's use that. So I hope that we don't get into a heavy brawl, getting close, and uh, yeah, we can make use of the range of our auto cannons. This is uh, again not a brawling build here. Uh, this is a fire support build that can step forward and uh, absorb some damage for the team so that they can fight back but um, it doesn't feature a big alpha strike and this is a damage over time build and I don't want to get into messy brawls with it if not needed. Uh, yeah, that's just the thing I have to keep in mind. I'm gonna keep my distance a bit and uh, then I should be fine. So, let's walk on. 
We are halfway to the... Oh god! Step into the circle! They already got half of the counter down. Wow. Alright. So enemies are closing in. They have a shadow cat. A thousand meters away. I won't shoot it because I won't deal any damage at that distance. So there's no point. I'm gonna preserve my ammo. Uh, also tag. Is that our tag? Probably from our second mauler. Yeah. Yeah, you... You tend to take LRMs in the Mauler, because they have very good quirk, and I'm not sure if they will be viable LRM carriers later on when the quirks are gone and when the skill system will kick in. UAV in the center, Hotel 9, please take it down. Uh, that was our UAV. <laughs> I guess. Go RB. Good job. Alright, so let's get ourselves some targets. Yeah, <laughs> you kill his UAV. <laughs> yeah, always press Q so that you can see if it's your UAV or not. So if it's your own UAV, then okay, there is a blue UAV sign over that thing. Hmm. Is that a mech? Ah, uh, that is too low mounted. I can't shoot over the hill. Good, we've got some targets for the LRMs. Yay, Rifleman. Dual AC-10. Okay. And we are pushing right side. Good. So uh, that is what I mentioned earlier. If you see that the, uh, the team is doing something, adapt to it immediately. Because you are so slow in this mech that once it's too late, you can't catch up. Let's uh, kill the Viper really quick. That is a thing we can do with our LRMs. At least remove some armor. And maybe we can get some components as well. New target acquired. So I really wish that we had vision on, vision on them. Oh, hello. We're in a bad spot, man. Oh. Nice one. Ah, uh, that was too early. Yeah. You know what? I'm taking a UAV. Actually, I didn't have to. <laughs> and I want to back up a bit. We are in a death ball situation here. And a firing line would be better than a ball, of course. Also, I should uh, choose some targets. Which is that Kodiak there. I know, I know, I know, but what can you do about it? Okay, gonna twist. Yeah. Good, he is centered, but I'm too. Kind of. Still have a little armor, but it's not a big amount. Alright, let's get out of here. I need to be in the middle of the team right now because I'm again so damaged and uh, I need my front and back covered. This is good. Yep. This is so good. Gonna shoot the Kodiak. And the Shadowcat. This is the Rifleman I'm searching. Yep, another solid hit. Uh, whoa, that killed? <laughs> that was a bit late, I think. Okay, there's another shadow cat. There was another shadow cat. Good. Yeah, only two of them alive. It worked out fine. So there's probably in something in India 9? Yeah. There's the Kodiak. Let's get close. Maybe we can even get some AC-10 shots into him. Uh, he's all dead already. Alright. We win this. Yeah, we totally do. So, last enemy will be something behind me. There he is. Of course, we do. That's a Raven, India, India 10. 10. India 10, India 10, Viper. No, it's a Raven. Okay. Gonna know your shit. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Woo! That was a good shot. Oh yeah. I'm very happy about that. Very happy. So, let's have a look at the end score. 566, got 4 kills, 4 assists, uh, 2 kills, most damage dead, and 10 components destroyed. That is huge. So, that was the Mauler with 2 AC-10, 2 LRM-10, 2 medium lasers. I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you want. And if you want to support the channel, have a look at the description. There's a link to my Patreon, Patreon page. And there you can help me doing what I love, doing these tutorials and gameplay videos. So, I hope to see you on the battlefield, everybody. Goodbye.